Hello everyone. Recently I headed out to a local bush reserve called Karawatha Forest to see what kind of wildlife I could find. However, I was admittedly on a rather tight schedule, I had to catch the train back fairly soon, so I couldn't hang around for long and I only found two things worth filming. So this video is gonna be, well, pretty damn short, but still worth uploading in my opinion. The first of the day's finds was this lovely little huntsman. This is a member of the genus Heteropoda, which is perhaps the most commonly encountered genus of huntsman spiders in the Greater Brisbane area. And the fact that it only has six legs suggests that this spider has seen better days, that or she's cosplaying as an insect. Practically all of the heteropoda species that occur in Australia exhibit a mottled brown coloration. This provides them with excellent camouflage in the undergrowth, and allows them to be highly proficient ambush predators. The heteropoda species also seem to be extremely fast movers even by huntsman standards. This one is noticeably jumpier than the big female Typostola barbata, which I have featured in a few of my recent uploads. So the Huntsman Spider was a cool find in spite of the fact that its injuries made it look as though it could quite aptly be dubbed the spider version of Mad-Eye Moody. But before I hastened out of the bush so as not to miss my next train, there was still one other cool little critter that was waiting to be found. This almost otherworldly looking insect is called a mole cricket, and as its common name would suggest, it is a burrowing animal that is hence seldom seen, so it was a particular treat to be able to find one. In spite of its name, however, this animal is not actually a cricket, though it is indeed a very close relative. The true crickets form a family called the Gorillidae, whereas mole crickets form a separate, though as aforementioned still very closely related family, called the Grillotulpidae. The Grillotulpids belong to an order of insects known as the Orthopterans, which also includes the true crickets, as well as grasshoppers, katydids, and a number of other lesser known groups. The morphological features of Grilla tulpids are specially adapted for the animal's subterranean lifestyle. Unlike in most orthopterans, the hind legs are not quite as distinctively enlarged. Conversely, the insect's front legs are thick and robust, which allows them to easily and rapidly excavate large quantities of substrate, enabling them to navigate the subterranean environment with incredible effectiveness. So there we are, and again I'm sorry for this video's length or lack thereof should I say, but as I said before, I was a bit pressed for time and I hope you were able to enjoy it nonetheless. If you did enjoy this video, then I have a few more of these outdoor type uh, films, if you want to call them that, for you to check out, so by all means give them a look. And of course, if my content is appealing to you, then I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. So thank you all very much for watching, that is it from me, and I'll see you again very soon.